Hey Car Pack, this is Justin Holiday of the Indiana Pacers. Welcome to the Sports Card Consultant Show. First of all, you better get my rookie card. It's going to blow up. Second, thanks for supporting the show and being awesome. Enjoy. Hey, what's going on Card Pack? Today we're going to go over the top 10 sports cards that went up the most over the last week. So we're going to be looking at all the sports, although I think I only saw two sports show up in the top 10. But some interesting things, by the way, some of them really, really went up. And it's not a head scratcher, but it's like, whoa, I can't believe they went up that much. Anyways, uh, get the, the recordings of these videos, get them on the podcast here, link for that in the description. Join the Card Pack newsletter <clears throat> where I send out um, the pics from these videos. I send them out to the Card Pack newsletter about 30 minutes to an hour before we actually publish them on YouTube. Um, join the Sports Card Society where every day I send an exclusive video to you in the membership area. You get access to the membership area where I pick a uh, sports card investment that I think is really, really good. And I lay out all the research as to why I think it's good and what I plan on doing with it. Like when do I plan on selling it? Do I plan on selling it a uh, quick flip? Am I selling it in a month? Am I holding it long term? What am I doing? Some examples are this Chipper Jones here in January. I showed it to the society. We're getting it for around 70 bucks. Here it is going for 180 in March. This Kobe Bryant in January. We, we were getting it actually for about 160 but here it is at 180 uh, in January. Here it is in March going for 600 uh, And here's this LeBron. We were getting it for about 175 in January and here it is going for 725 in March. So the Sports Cut Society, it's only $12.99 a month. That's like $0.40 cents a day or $129 a year, which is even less per day. I mean, it's not like the members buy every the, the pick I do every single day. If all you do is just pick like one or two a month, and you get these kind of returns, you got to ask yourself, why are you not in the sports card society if I'm doing all this work and handing you cards like this that go from 175 to 725 in a month, 180 to 600 in a couple months, you know, uh, 70 to 180 in a couple months? Like, why are you not at least trying out the sports card society? Plus, you get access to the private Discord group which is alone worth the price of admission because the people in there are, are active, smart, helpful sports card investors. And it's an excellent community to be part of. Uh, and also, if you want to learn how I'm able to find cards like this, get the Delta Factor. It's a course I put together laying out all my secrets, all my recipe for finding buy signals and making buying decisions. Um, it's about seven, eight videos, three, four hours of content comes with a couple bonuses too. You get a free month of the sports card society and you get a year access to the private discord. So check that out. Even if you're a, a seasoned vet, seriously, check it out because I guarantee I got some things in there that you hadn't thought of. If all you do is get a few pieces of information out of it to help you be a better sports card investor and make more money, you know, why are you not, why do you not have it? It's, it's not expensive. Anyways, let's dive into the content. Make sure you, links for everything are in the description, by the way. Be sure you hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and lightly, lightly tap that like button. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. All right, here we are in the Market Movers tool. I didn't pick a sport. I went to price movements by card. I just picked PSA 10, and I picked PSA 10s because the entire market is based off of the PSA 10 market. So we can see the top two here on the list. Number one is Jordan Poole. His 2019 prison base up a staggering 150%. I'm literally scratching my head right now. I understand. He came in. He gets to play. Steph got hurt. He's getting more playing time. I, I get it. He had a good game or two. Here it is at 50 bucks uh, to start the week. And then it's done nothing but go up. And now it's at 2 50 is the latest sale gone up really it's gone up 400 percent in on the week pop count of 125 let's pull this card back 60 days and am i going to be a buy seller hold on this what do you think what do you think i'm going to do you think i'm going to be a buy seller hold on this look at that chart do you even know who jordan Poole is i hardly know anything about him uh he's on i know steph got hurt and he's and apparently he's getting more playing time and he had a good game or two, and his card went from 50 bucks to 250. I mean, I'm holding it long term, right? No, I am selling this thing fast, like it is literally degrading in my hands. I am selling it like it is melting. 
I am getting rid of this thing. Getting my money, cashing out. Oh my God. First of all, I asked myself, wow, I, I wondered why I had this Jordan Poole card. And then I said, oh, wow, sometimes you get lucky <laughs> and you sell this damn card. Sell it. Sell it, sell it, sell it. Jordan Poole's going to be a great player. He's got a lot of skills. I don't care. It doesn't matter. The card market doesn't care. There's no reason his card should go up 400% in a week. This guy, he's not some superstar. May, can he become one? Hell, I don't know. But tell you what, this card is going to come down real fast. Sell it and take your money. I actually had a couple Jordan pools in my Com C account. Um, they'd been sitting there a while. I don't even remember why I bought them. They were super cheap, super. I got them for like a few bucks. I can't remember why the hell I had that, those things. I was like, who, who is this guy? I don't even know who this is. Why do I have these? And, uh, and then people bought them <laughs> this week I'm like, or last week. I'm like, all right, cool. And now here he is, top of the list. I am selling this so fast. It's just, it's ridiculous. Next on the list, Giannis, 2019 Prism Orange Ice, pop count of 186, up 145% on the week. Interesting. And there's another Giannis on this list too you'll want to stick around and see. It's it adds to this uh, mystery here. So this card started the week at 80 bucks, did nothing but really go up to the latest sale of 196. Pop count of 186, like I said. Orange Ice, um, fairly rare card. You know you don't you don't get these very often. These aren't like every other pack. These aren't. I don't even know if you get one of these in a box. I don't know what the insert rate is, but you know this is a fairly rare card. I don't think it's case hit rare, but it's a fairly rare card. Let's pull this one back 60 days. Figure out if I'm a buy, sell, or hold on this. Hmm. So, I mean, it's been up. There's 129 on the 16th of February. There's 137 on the 3rd of March. And it went down, and now it's really kind of went up. Let me get a drink of coffee while I process this. Hmm. Buy, sell, or hold this one. I think I'm holding this one. I think I'm holding it. Because there's, you know... I can see more upside with this card. And in reality, let's go to eBay and take a look at what it's going for. Because it's Giannis. And sure, it's not a rookie card, but you got to remember, like superstar players, any of their cool cards, no matter what the year, um, tend to have value. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like Michael Jordan's 86 Fleer rookie is the only Michael Jordan that has value. You can get plenty of Jordans from the 90s that have tons of value. Like tons of value. Because they're just rare cards. And they're cool. And this is a fairly rare card. And it's cool. 190 down here. That makes sense. Did I sort it? Yeah, I did. So 190 is the bottom. What did we say that latest sale was? 196, all right. Or best offer. This person knows. Oh, slight chip and slab. Where's the, which you know that's not that big of a deal, because you can send it in and get it re-slabbed. But I wouldn't want to deal. But but it's a pain in the butt to deal with that, especially. I don't know how long it takes to get those back. Honestly, um, at this point, my I think I'm a hold on this card. I think I'm a hold. I can understand if you sell it. I do. But I just wonder. You know, the Bucks are going to make the playoffs and stuff, and we're getting closer to the playoffs. So. I could, I could, I mean, I expect Giannis stuff in general to go up as we go through April into May. So I think this card maybe goes higher. But if you want to take the money and reinvest it in something else, I understand. But I think I'm holding that one. But it really makes me wonder what other Giannis's similar to this are out there that maybe haven't gone up yet. As a matter of fact, let's go back to that chart. By the way, this is the Market Movers tool. If you're new to these videos, I use this in every video because this is what I use primarily in my uh, sports card investing. I don't know how people do sports card investing without this. It's it's insane. I don't I don't even understand how you could possibly even try to interpret the data this well because you can't. Um, you, if you're at all serious about sports card investing, you need this. I'll put a link for it in the description. Uh, use code Society. For 20% off your first month or your first year, whichever subscription you choose. So 
I didn't mean to do that, but I guess here we are. So you can select, there's all these different sets that you can select to pull up the data for the chart. And so we had the orange ice. Let's look at the pink ice compared to the orange ice to see what's going on. And the PSA 10, usually you can select more grades, but I guess these ones, they only have the 10s in the data. Hmm. Only one sale of the pink ice on the week. That's interesting. Let's go to the, because there's not, because look, look at the pop count, 133. It's actually less than the orange ice, although pink ice is not as popular as orange ice because it's pink. I think that's why. And sports card investing is, is mostly guys, and guys don't want pink. But I don't mind it. It's rare. It looks cool. 150, hmm, I don't think I'd be buying that because even though it's a lower pop count, it is a, you know, it's not as popular as the orange. It seems like I, I was hoping to catch a lag here because it was still down here at 90 bucks. That was a buy. 150, that's probably about where it should be. Or maybe it should be closer. Maybe it should be 190. You know what? I will, I'll put a link in the description for you because maybe 150 is a decent, no, because I'm not buying the other one either. No, I'm not buying that one either. I would, I would probably hold that one too. Next on the list, Lamella Ball. 2020 Prism Draft Pick Silver. I know it's a it pop count of 40. It's up 140% on the week, but our uh, our assumed rookie of the year seems to have broke his wrist, and I believe he's done for the season. Uh, yeah, he's done for the season. So that sucks. That really sucks. Um, for, for everything, for everybody, for him, for the league, for sports card investors, it just sucks. You know, he was definitely the top rookie, and it's like, damn it. So most of the focus is going to go towards Anthony Edwards now. Maybe Anthony Edwards gets rookie of the year now. But we all know LaMelo should have got it, so we, who knows. This card started the week at 700 worked its way up to, well, 1000 bucks at its high, and then uh, ended the week at 970 I can't buy this card. I'm not even going to look because he's broke his wrist. It's going to go down. Jordan Poole, again, on the list. His 2019 Prism Silver this time, pop count of 177. That's interesting. I feel like his Silver should be worth, in terms of multiples, more than it is compared to the Prism. Because the Prism's going for 250 and the Silver's going for 430 Because Although his Prism pop count is pretty low, because who sent in Jordan Poole, whereas, actually I think it was less than this. Pop count of 215 on this card because if you get, because there's a lot of people that if you get a silver at all, you just send it in to get it graded. And that's probably not anymore with the new PSA grading. Although the value pricing, if you're just willing to wait a year plus to get your card back, yeah, I suppose people will still do that. Let's see here. This card started the week at 206, went up to 430, so it went up 108%. Not the 400% we saw in the base prism. You know what? Let's let's indulge Jordan Poole. Let's go see what his stats are. Warriors end rocky trip with 2-1 records. Jordan Poole's emergence continues. So let's go. Let's take a look. What's he been doing? Let's get close. I'm on basketballreference.com. Let's take a closer look at what he's been doing. 26, 14, 18, 14. 23, 25, 26. Okay. That is interesting. But it's not four or five. It's it's a lot of hype because there's a lot of players in the league that score this every night, almost every night, and they don't get any respect because twenty ish points. Twenty five is of course legit. Twenty six, yeah. Twenty three. So he's had three games. His emergence continues. I don't know about that, man. I mean, look, he's just getting more minutes, and Ste- it's just because Steph is out. His emergence sounds like a lot of hype to me. So I'm not, yeah, I'm not buying. Let's pull this back 60 days. I don't even know why I'm spending this much time looking at Jordan Poole. Yeah. Here it was at 86 on the 11th, and now we're at 430. Yeah, sell the hell out of that. Sell it, sell it, sell it, sell it. Next on the list, Shohei Otani. I hope some of you listened to me uh, on the baseball one because there was like half of it was Shohei Otani. And I said, you know, go buy him. There's still room for this. And here we are a week later. It's still going up like crazy. Um, his 2018 tops base pitching, pop count of 1987, up 
82% on the week. And this thing was up a good amount last week. Here it is, started the week at 67, hit a high of 127, latest sale of 108. This is what I mean by pitching, because he's, he's, well, pitching. So let's go, let's pull this back 60 days. And this has been a nice chart. This was, this was a, Shohei Otani cards were, I was recommending to my society uh, for a while, a while ago. Because I, I, because when a lot of the cards are going up, you know, your Tatis, your Soto, your, uh, hell, Wander Franco as of recently, but, you know, your Acuna, stuff like that. I was like, you know, Shohei Otani just seems to be slept on. Like, he's got a lot of potential. I think people are just kind of harsh on him because of his health problems he's had. Uh, but he's a, but when he plays, he's really good. So I was like, you know, get him. And then here he is coming into spring training and hell, the baseball preseason, I guess. And he's been lighting it up. And he's just been doing nothing but going up. And so I recommended it back here to you guys, uh, well under 100 bucks, I believe, a week ago. Um, so I hope you pick some up. Uh, and my society, like, you know, we, had, we were getting them all the way back here. Um, a lot of different ones. I don't know if this particular one I recommended. But anyways, here we are. Am I buy, sell, or hold on this? Because here we are. The beginning of baseball is, what, a week away or so? Well, it's it's next week anyway. It's not necessarily a week away, but it's next week. Um, and typically, you know, it's hard. It's hard to, hard to, mm, he's had a nice growth here. 27, 108. I, I really like him. I really like him as a player. Low pop count, 1987. Buy, sell, or hold? I don't know. I don't know. Let's look at eBay. I think if you can get this for... Let's take a look. What do we got here? Hmm, that's interesting. 104, 109, 104. That seems about right. Hmm. Future MVP. This guy over here, future MVP. <laughs> I mean, slow your roll a bit, man. But maybe. <laughs> but maybe. And would I buy this card? Tell you what, I'm gonna let you decide on that one. I'll put a link in the description for it. You, 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 you tell me. Leave a comment what you think of Shohei. Maybe what you think of this card, stuff like that. Next on the list, another Giannis 2019 Prism Base pop count of 581. Up 67% on the week. So see, here's another modern Giannis. Although this is a prism base, and it started the week at 41, ended the week at 68. But the sale right before that 68 was 37.99. Pop count of 581. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go to eBay. Let's see what they're selling for, what they're listed for, rather. Whew. By the way, there's a show... I forgot about it, but I found the season two on uh, on HBO called His Dark Materials. Really good show. It's based on some really popular books. Can't remember what they're called, but I'm really into it. Uh, leave a comment if you've seen that show, His Dark Materials on HBO. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about it. Because I, I, I ended up watching like three episodes last night, and I was like, yeah. This is going to be season two because I saw season one already. Like a couple years ago, I swear. Feels like that. I think it probably was. All right, what do we think here? What do we got here on this Giannis? Yeah, thirty-nine bucks. Thirty-nine bucks. So it seems like that was just maybe a, a chili dipper of a of a sale here for sixty-eight. Let's look at though. Let's look at his twenty nineteen Prism Silver. Oh, I didn't mean to select that. That's for the sets. I want to select the variations. So we're gonna look at the silver. Just the 10. No, you know what? We'll look at all three. PSA 9 and BGS 9.5. By the way, this is there's a lot of things you can do in this market movers tool. Um, you should have it. Seriously. Link in description. Uh, use code SOCIETY for 20% off. First month or first year. So here we are looking at his silver. I mean, you could... Oh, it's a 9. So, pop count of 644. And it's been kind of going down. Well, if the orange ice is going up like that, why is the silver down here? That's interesting. Here's a, a tab I love. 
Where's the BGS 9.5 up here? It must be a really low pop because there hasn't been a sale this week. Let's go to the ratios. So the 10 is going for 3.45 times more than the 9. That's about right. Because a 10 in modern cards, as long as the pop counts are fairly, mm, fairly even, fairly relevant, the ratio is usually around like a three and a half, somewhere around there, you know, somewhere between three and four for sure. And so that's about right. So those ratios seem to be right. But say this ratio here was like five plus, meaning the 10 is going for five times more than the nine. That would tell me the nine is probably undervalued. Because they usually end up settling back here between three and four, usually around three and a half. The more you know. But this is interesting. Why is this only going for a hundred bucks if that orange ice is going up like that? And the orange ice is rarer, but this is a silver. Giannis. Like, there's a decent demand for this car. Let's go to eBay on it. We'll sort it. It's around 100 bucks. Where, where is it? 99 bucks your best offer? So I can come in here and get this for under 100 bucks because I can make an offer on this, probably get it for 90 or less. I feel all right about that. Yeah, I feel all right about that. 119. Eh, eh, eh. I'd be a buy if I can get I think I'd be a buy if I can get under this because that trend, that orange ice going up like that. Like, to me, it feels like the silver is going to go up, especially leading into the playoffs here in the next um, month and a half. I see this is going up. So I could see this going to 150, maybe 200. So I'd be a buy on that. It's not, a, it's not on our top 10 list, but it made me think because of the orange ice. So I'll put a link in the description for that one for you to go check out if you want. See, that's another reason I look at this. Like, like when I make videos for the society, I dive in way, way deeper than this to find the really good sports car investments. Like you saw a little bit of it right there. Like I dug in a little deeper because I looked at the orange ice. I'm like, you know, that's a 2019 prism variation. Uh, and it seems to be going up quite a bit. And the chart looked legit. It wasn't just some one big one-off sale. But the silver seems to be slightly going down over the last week. That doesn't make sense to me. Uh, granted, this is the prism base. And the prison base has gone up. Granted, that looked like a one-off sale, so I'm not sure about that one. And we looked at it on eBay. They weren't really going for this much. That's fine, the base. I Stay away from the base. But the silver, huh. It, made, it doesn't, doesn't make sense to me. And so diving in deeper, it looks good. Uh, so, And usually I dive in even deeper, and I make a video for the site. They're not all long like this. They're like five minutes. And... Uh, I just show the card and I show all the research that I found. So I spend lots of time like this digging deep in the data and then I just show them the findings and, uh, and then I give them a target price. Anyways, so join the society. Come on, twelve ninety nine a month, 40 cents a, a day. Or just join the year and get in the Discord. Well, you get in the Discord no matter what. Anyways, next on the list, Lonzo Ball, 2017 Prism Base. Pop count of 24.18, up 61% on the week. Wait, what? Lonzo ball. I was like, what? Prism. I'm like, LaMelo's got a prism? Lonzo. Okay. Lonzo. Let's look at his chart. Start of the week at 106. Then has sale 137. Latest sale 191. Pop count of 24.18. Interesting. Huh. Let's pull this one back 60 days. Search. Whew. Yeah. Sell it. <laughs> Sell it. Sell that card if you have it. Sell it. Next on the list, DeAndre Ayton, 2018 Prism. It's his rookie. Pop count of 3,040, up 60% on the week. Now, he's on a good card, and he's a big man. He's a big man. So they don't necessarily get the love your guards, your your guards and forwards do. He looks happy. I'm the number one overall pick in the draft. Yay! So started the week at 111, kind of went sideways. You know, on the 19th it's 125, and then there's a bigger sale of 180. That's suspicious. 
Let's pull back 60. Hmm, but that is interesting. I, I, I think that's crazy. But you can see that it is starting to go up overall in this time. Another reason why the Market Movers tool is so helpful. You can see that you know it's going down, 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 and we get here till late February, and then it kind of starts going up. And you can see that you know it's lower lows. Like there's a low, there's a low that was higher than the last. There's a low that was higher than the last. There's a low that was higher than the last. See, overall, it's kind of trending up there. So if we pull this thing back like 30 days, that dotted line in the middle, yeah, see, now it's going up. Look at that, over the last 30 days. 116, 89, 125, 150. So this card overall is trending up. That's very interesting because the Suns are a good team. Let's go to eBay and see what we can find for sales price. If they're listing it around 180, I want to slap all of them in the face because that one, you, you can't, you can't, never mind, you just can't. Where are we here? One, okay, that's fair. 120? And look at that. There was one that sold for 135 on the 18th. One that sold for 125 on the 19th. And this one off sale of 180, that seems way out of line. So, and this card overall is trending up. This is very interesting. Again, he's on a good team. They're definitely going to make the playoffs. 130, 135. I might even feel comfortable buying it at 135 because I can see this card on that trajectory getting up to over 200. Um, plus, as we get you know deeper into April, May, the acceleration of these goes up, typically. And as you get really close to the playoffs, there can be a spike. If you want to try to time that, that's where your most money is to be made, but do it at your own risk. With that being said, when they get into the playoffs, like, it doesn't necessarily like tank right away, but cards don't go up as much as you think in the playoffs. Um, that's why I like to sell right before the playoffs or right at the beginning of the playoffs. But I like this one. I didn't think I'd be wanting to buy DeAndre Ayton, but I think if I can get it for 135 or less, I feel pretty good about that. Because, I mean, here's a sale for 150 on the 8th. Here's a sale for 135 on the 18th. 133. Yeah, 133 on the 16th. And this overall going up the last 30 days. I don't see any reason why that would stop. As, as the hype builds, the momentum builds for the playoffs. So I like that one. I'll put a link in the description for that card. And then next on the list, Dante DiVincenzo. Dante DiVincenzo, 2018 Prism Silver Pop, count 384, up 60, excuse me, 59% on the week. I rounded up when I should have rounded down. <laughs> Math mistakes. <laughs> 81 bucks to start the week. High sale of 180. Last sale of 127. Pop count 384. What's up, Dante DiVincenzo? That is not what I expected. I don't know much about him. That is not what I expected him to look like. Expected him to look more Italian. But then again, how, how much justice does this picture do? Let's pull this one back 30 days. Because you know what? That DeAndre Ayton made me think. Hmm, I wonder what's going on over the last 30 days. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So it was going up quite a bit. I mean, on a nice, a nice steady trajectory, and then dipped, and then 115, then dip, and now it's working its way back up, and then a dip. Mm. That looks like a ride I don't want a part of. So I would. He's on the bucks. Seems like he's around the, the midline of his value. I would probably. I would probably hold slash sell it. I'd probably put it up on eBay for like, depending on what I got it at. I'd probably put it up on eBay for 150 plus and just wait for it to go as we get closer to the playoffs. That's probably what I'd do with that one. Next on the list, another Lonzo Ball. 2017 Optic, pop count 621. This is Optic this time, up 57% on the week. What Lonzo do? Please leave a comment. What did Lonzo do this week that got him so much hype? Not on the Lakers. Started the week at 64, went down to 52, worked its way up to 81 being the latest sale. Let's pull this one back 30 days. What's old Lonzo, the older ball, been doing? The older ball. Straight maturity, Matt. Here we go. Seven, yeah, up and down, up and down, up and down. It's up. Nah. Man, I'm selling that. Maybe. Yeah, I'm probably selling it because I don't think the Pelicans are going to make the playoffs. I mean, they might make the play-ins. I just, I'd probably sell it. I'd probably sell that one. I'm not even going to go to eBay on it. So there were only three cards that I found that are worth 
taking a look at and maybe buying. One of them wasn't even on this list. It was that Giannis 2019 Silver. And the only reason we found that was because we compared it to the orange ice because the orange ice is going up like crazy. So why is the silver slightly down? That doesn't make sense. For the same year, for the 2019 Prism Silver, if the orange ice is going up like this, why is the silver slightly down? That doesn't make sense. The silver should go up. So I think we're maybe getting ahead of it a bit. Plus, as we lead into the playoffs, people are going to want more Giannis. Getting a silver for like, you know, that price. What was the, what was the price at? Yeah, for like 100 bucks or less you can get it for. Like that just seems cheap as hell. Where I'm sure people would be willing to pay 200 bucks getting closer to the playoffs. With all the, there'll be some Giannis hype, you know. Plus, you made this list twice in that same set. Here's this prism down here. Also, it doesn't. Although we ended up deciding this was more of a one-off sale that made this one jump like this. So a little, eh, you know. But nonetheless, someone bought it. I think might have just been some kind of shell bid or something like that. I'm not going to dive in that deep. But anyways, that's the list for the week. I'll put the links in the description for the cards. I think they're worth taking a look at. Uh, check out the podcast. Join the newsletter. It's free. But join the society. Twelve ninety nine a month, $0.40 cents a year. Get a new card pick video sent to you every single day. And the Delta Factor. Figure out, like I told you, I dive in deeper on all this data. Go check it out. I mean, seriously. Um, I really lay out all my secrets. And I really, it's, really, it's a really good course. And then, of course, if you don't have the Market Movers tool, I mean, what are you doing? How are you in sports card investing without this? You need this. Link in description. Use code SOCIETY for 20% off your first month of your first year. Smash the subscribe button. Click the like button. Lightly tap that like button. Thank you so much for watching Card Pack. Stay classy. You are so awesome. I will see you manana.